Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session. And uh, I am Chuan Yu Chen from Huawei. And uh, today's session, I will introduce a platform for MEC, which is uh, Edge Gallery, a developer oriented open MEC platform. And uh, today I will first introduce what it is for Edge Gallery. And then I will introduce, have a brief introduce for uh, what is the developer oriented open MEC platform, the details for Edge Gallery. And then I will have a demo from, from Edge Gallery, which, is, which shows how uh, an application vendor can develop one application based on Edge Gallery and uh, use Edge Gallery to deploy the application to the Edge. So uh, here, as we know, 5G will release the power of industry applications. So the industry applications in future will most, more and more running on MEC. So how, for this scenario, how to do the service governance, how to do the traffic offloading, and also the capability openness. So we need a unified application management platform to deal with the connection and the management and the application cooperation with the MEP platform. Also, Telco will need a MEC open source platform that covers the whole ecosystem, which includes the developers. So how we support the developers? In future, the developers will develop applications on the edge. So how we support that? How developer can develop their applications very easily? And also in future, uh, how to support marketplace for the edge application? It is also should be con considered. And for the operator, operator themselves, how to manage the edge applications in their real runtime systems. So it is also very important. So one platform which covers the developers and also the marketplaces and also covers the management for the operators. It is monetary for the MEC. Here, it is a brief introduction for Edge Gallery, which is trying to build a tel telco lead edge platform and ecosystem. Our mission is that to create one MEC open architecture and standard, and then we will trying to build one to be uh, ecosystem. We are simplified development. So you can see here in the right side, we will have four part mostly uh, important uh, components. One is MEP. Well, for MEP, it will unify the service management and also the network capabilities and also the open APIs and MEP management APIs. So it is really important in future in the MEC system. And the second one, it is MEC M and the orchestrator to unify the application lifecycle management to set up a unified platform for the operator. And the third one, it is the app store, which is unified applications hub store. Our applications in future in, uh, for MEC will be published in this app, app store. And the fourth one is the developer portal. So this is for the application developer. For this uh, developer platform, Edge Gallery trying to build up a very simple development platform for Edge application. There will be multis of plugins and also test tools will be supported in this platform to support developer to develop a new edge application. Okay, and the second one is about the developer oriented open MEC platform. So here it is the overview of Edge Gallery 
we have four, four components, which is MEP and also uh, MECM and also App Store and also developer platform. So for MEP, there is no UI layer in uh, MEP component. Here is uh, three UIs for the edge gallery platform. Uh, the first one is uh, developer GUI. And the second one is for the App Store GUI, which is the uh, centralized uh, app store for edge applications. And the third one, it is the um, management portal for uh, edge for the MEC system, which will be um, pulled by operator or some service provider of MEC system. Okay. And uh, why we say Edge Gallery, it is developer-oriented uh, open MEC. Here you can see we have one uh, flow for the application vendor to develop, to, um, to migrate layer or develop a new application or to MEC system. So we will support the application developer from developer uh, preparation and also uh, on the coding and the developer and the test uh, phase and also about the application publish phase. So uh, the first one, when we support uh, the application development, we will support a uh, platform selection, which is uh, x86 or such as ARM platform. And also we have uh, MEP capability sele selections such as uh, our traffic capability or some RAN network uh, uh, capabilities, so which, such as location capabilities, which the de application depends on. And also we have tools installation and the uh, sample codes for these capabilities, how application to call these applications, uh, call these uh, capabilities. And the second one is one well, during the user developer and um, test the uh, Applica application, we will have plugins, we will have API simulators, uh, platforms to support uh, application vendors to develop their applications. And uh, for, uh, during the application test, we also have a sandbox, uh, some tools to support, such as to do remote debug. And we have sandbox, um, which already de deployed the de dependent capabilities layer so that they can very easily to test their applications. And uh, during the application publish, they also have, we also support applications. They can publish their own services to other applications. So that other application can consume the vendor's application. So here they also have a platform to verify the application and to package the application and then publish to the App Store. Here, the App Store can be uh, for Edge Gallery, that is an App Store layer, which means all the applications already published to this App Store is already verified by the platform. It can be directly deployed by the MECM. So here App Store also can be some commercial App Store in future. And then the last one is about the MECM. The MECM is the management system for the edge gallery, uh, for the edge application lifecycle management. They will um, manage all the resources of the system and all the packages of the system. And they can also do application orchestration in the system. Okay, and uh, in the following time, I will have a very uh, demo for uh, to show how to develop a, and uh, deploy an application based on Edge Gallery. As we know, we have uh, uh, applications develop uh, a developer platform to support uh, you develop develop an application vendor to develop one application. Here, this demo, I name, we name it as positioning service. As you can see here, uh, in this demo, we will show how Edge Gallery developer platform supports the new application developing. 
And uh, in this demo, we can see the left side here, we have a face recognition service, which is already deployed in the uh, MEP platform. This is uh, um, the, this application depends on. And uh, the application we're trying to develop here, it is we name it positioning service, which is uh, once in this positioning service. Uh, okay, let me let me uh, introduce what's the capability of face recognition. Face recognition, this service, there is uh, capabilities is that you can uh, pass one image, one maybe one photo of one person, pass this to this uh, service, and also you can pass him a video or a camera or RTSP flow. And uh, the face recognition service, it can return the result of recognition to find out if this person exists in this video. So this is the basic the platform capability. And uh, in this positioning service, which is in the middle part, we try to develop one application. This can be uh, assumed as one monitor system. The monitor system, there is many cameras located it at different places. And uh, in this monitor, si monitor system, we want to support one feature is that you can pass one uh, image of one person. And then in this system, we will try to find out if this person have ever, show, uh, have ever showed in any camera. So, in this feature, the monitoring, the positioning service, it will depend on the face recognition. It will use the capability of face recognition service to find out if the person exists or uh, ever showed in this camera. So, and also it itself will calculate, find out, where this person and when this person ever exist in this in which camera and also uh, this is about the feature of this positioning service and uh, to show the capabilities for expose the uh, for expose the apis of this positioning service as we know for our application platform, we also support the application vendor to expose their capabilities to be consumed by other services who, uh, who develop a new system, new application, can consume the positioning service. So it will also expose one API is that for user, you can pass me one image, one uh, image of person and uh, this positioning service will uh, respond the, if this person ever it shows in the monitoring system. So this is the uh, brief introduction for this application. And uh, in this demo, I will try to develop uh, this application to show how Edge Gallery support to develop uh, this positioning service and uh, support to manage it to deploy this positioning service to the real MEC system. Okay, and I now I will go into the real system. And uh, you can see here, okay, I will change it to English. And here, there is uh, uh, Edge Gallery developer, developer platform. We uh, already have this platform here. This platform is used to support edge application developers to develop their applications, or they can use this platform to, to directly deploy or verify or package their existing applications to MEC system. Okay, and now here the flow is you will find uh, we will first create one project. 
sorry, I need to uh, log in and uh, log in the system. Okay, and then the first uh, step for a uh, user to develop one platform is to uh, create one project. So I will name it as positioning service. And also here, I will upload the one icon for it. Okay, I will change it to English for a user to easy understand. Positioning service. And also here can also fill some the descriptions for the application. It can be detailed description, but here I will have a, a quick uh, brief introduction. And also we can have, you can see here the version and the industry and the type, the architecture, um, some brief information for this application you want to develop. And the second step is to choose the capabilities you want to use to uh, of the platform. As we know, our positioning service will depend on face recognition service. So here you will find we have two uh, first type, one is edge gallery capabilities, and the second is edge gallery eco capabilities. Uh, there is no difference for usage. Only difference is that the edge gallery capabilities is pre-deployed in the platform. So it is not uh, provided by some third party applications. And uh, the edge gallery ecosystem capabilities, that means user who contribute to the services to the platform and they also can expose their capabilities to be consumed by other services or just for uh, difference. So here I will select a face recognition uh, service. And here you see for the, also for the face recognition, we also we have two version. And uh, in my example, in my demo, I use this uh, face recognition service, uh, but not plus. And uh, okay, and uh, until now, we have just uh, uh, created one project for user to manage their pet project. So after created, that is, uh, uh, by default, it will show the details of this project, and you will find in the left side, we have APIs, we have build and test, we have uh, other statics tools, and uh, uh, here, and uh, for the API, as we know, user want to consume face recognition service, they need to know how to use this application. So you will find here for face recognition service, you can also here face recognition service is published as HTTPS and you can in this platform, you also can try it out for, uh, for you to know how to use this application, how to use this API. And you will find here, you can excuse this API and also in the result, it will return you the JSON format. You can find here, I just upload one uh, image and uh, the result is will return you a JSON format string, which it contains the face number and also the result. And uh, based on this, the application developers, they can very easily to know how can I can use these APIs. Okay, and uh, after applica application developers, they know how to develop this, and they will start to try to coding, and uh, they will manage this positioning service project, and uh, you can find here in our systems, we also have uh, plugins and uh, the API introductions. The APIs, in this project, uh, user can very easily to find it out. And uh, also here we have uh, plugins. Here you will find we have uh, Py we already have Python plugins and uh, Java plugins. But uh, this is an open source platform, so this is a plugin repositories. And the user can also contribute their edge application plugins here. And uh, in future, we will also support more and more plugins. 
And here, when I develop one, develop this uh, uh, face recognition uh, demo, and I will use this Python plugin. And uh, okay, and uh, the next step for user is they like, trying to develop their applications. So here, I uh, already showed this demo because we have no time to show how to develop this. This is the developer for the application. And then in this application, it will you will find in their codes, they will depends on the face recognition uh, MEP capabilities. They will send a request to the face recognition service to get the uh, image uh, recognized result. And also uh, here, I mentioned we have plugins for uh, the ideas you will find. I have already uh, added one plugin here for uh, MEC. You will find here, and uh, you can also select the details uh, of uh, depend the capabilities that you depends on. So here it is very easy for user to use to know how we need to how we can use the face recognition service. And also here, once you plug in here, okay. And here uh, there is one limitation here. We need to refresh it. You will find in. Uh, here, there is two new folder will be generated, and these two new folder it is letter for this app example. It shows for user for Python Python language how you call these APIs. You will find here it is also the face recognition APIs for Python language how you call these APIs. So it is very easily will be very easy for user to know in Python language how I can use this uh, language, uh, use this uh, uh, capabilities. And also there is one more uh, folder. It is for the package application package generate generated example. So in this example, there will be very easy for user to know how we uh, package this application. Here you will find there is application descriptor, descriptor templates here, and the user can easily to know how we package it. And uh, okay, and uh, here we are some user have already finished this uh, uh, this coding work. In this application, they will calling the capability uh, capabilities of MEP of face recognition, and uh, then. After this, you will find in for the application itself, there is a Docker file here, like which can build the uh, application as an image. And then uh, I will go to one. Uh, one <coughs> VM and which also have these uh, uh, these applications there and uh, I will also uh, show how we build it. So here, uh, by this command, we, we will um, deploy, we will uh, build this application as one image, as one Docker image, and then, um, once we finish this stock image, we also need to uh, docker save uh, to save it as positioning service to get one package of this application. So it will take a, a few minutes, a few seconds. And uh, here I have already. Uh, uh, Save it as one as a package file. So once user or application developer they get this uh, this tar file this application package they can go back to the uh, edge gallery platform and uh, in they go back to this positioning service now they need to test their applications 
and then they need to upload their packages here. Here, by this upload package, this is for user to test and package their applications. So by upload their image, they can uh, this image can be deployed to a sandbox for user to test it. But here, uh, I need to mention is that uh, for upload, it will take a few minutes uh, 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 because uh, this, this uh, Docker image is uh, a bit large. So I will use this, uh, uh, I will directly specify the image name because I have already uploaded uploaded before because for user they test the application will takes several times so it, it is not only one time uh, operation so uh, once the image is already uploaded and if the image is not changed they can directly test it again so they directly specify the image name which have already uploaded and they can also upload some uh, deploy uh, <coughs> files and also here it is for the APIs as we know our positioning service we have exposed the capabilities for other application to consume so here it is to assign the uh, APIs of the, the service itself and also here it is to uh, to uh, to assign what's the port and the, the service information that they exposed. Well, we name it as positioning service. This, this will be showed in the, um, for the edge gallery echo uh, capabilities there. So here it is the sandbox list. And uh, as you know, here in future, it will automatically allocate it one sandbox, but currently it is manually selected. I will de deploy it to a sandbox. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, and uh, this sandbox, it is also directly uh, this one. I will show to you here. Okay, you will find that there is one positioning service which is launched at uh, uh, 80 seconds before. And also you will find here, uh, <coughs> for this service, it is already deployed and it is already exposed this host and port. And the user can directly test their applications. Uh, as I need to uh, say here is that uh, because uh, in the real system, we use camera, but today uh, to be easy to show, I use a video. It is the same, it is both uh, RTSP videos here. So uh, all this, uh, it can be showed. Currently, I have not uh, set uh, any uh, image, so it will always show unknown here. Now I will upload one uh, image of this person and uh, and you will find, you will find here, Zhang Hailong here at this camera position. One, uh, it is fine uh, in this camera. So this feature can be exposed to other system for other applications to consume it. Okay, and this means this application has already tested and uh, we can finish test. And uh, once we finish test, this sandbox will be released, and here you will uh, have, they can choose to publish the application to App Store, and they can also publish their API capabilities to ecosystem. Here we both select it as, uh, as true, and here we will find in uh, APIs, MEP Echo APIs, there is positioning service here, and uh, uh, I will show here, once uh, if another application is created, uh, you will find that is uh, echo capabilities, which is video application. And next step, you will find that is positioning service, which exposed by our positioning application. Here it can be found in the echo, uh, edge gallery echo capabilities, which user can develop based on this new APIs. Okay, this is uh, 
a brief introduction for our edge gallery developer platform. And then let's go to the App Store. Uh, <coughs> as you as we know, last we have uh, we have selected to to uh, publish our positioning service to App Store. So you will find here there is a, a positioning service. It is new here in our App Store. Uh, okay, I will change to English and. Uh, you will find the time is uh, okay. It is just now we past published it in App Store. So uh, this positioning service already published in uh, as a verified uh, application that published in this App Store. And then I will have a quick introducing for our MECM system. This MECM system it is a real running system which for service providers can. Uh, can manage the application lifecycle management. So I have already here, you will find that I have already uploaded this package in our uh, MECM management system. And this is a real system. They have uh, abilities to, to manage, manage the edge nodes, the resources, and the packages, and the application lifecycle management. So here I will show how to deploy this positioning service to the real system. So we have to get the positioning service package here and we will distribute this package to one edge node. Here edge node, it is also I have in my system, I just have one node here. So, okay, now it is the processing for distribution this application package to edge node. So, okay, it is already distributed. And uh, in this, I can deploy this service instance to the edge node. So this time, it is not just for test, it is for real running system. User can deploy their applications to the real edge node. Okay, it is already instantiated because I'm using the same node, so you will find now it is working. It, this edge node, it is already uh, deployed. So that's all it is for the edge gallery developer platform, the app store, and the running time MEC management system. Okay, and uh, I think I have just uh, finished today's introduction. And uh, uh, thank you everyone. And uh, here we have, uh, I want to have one introduce is that here it is our, our main page of Edge Gallery and uh, everyone who is uh, uh, in interested on this, who can contact me or directly uh, go to this web page to contact us. Thank you very much.